Hello everyone, and welcome to The Mortuary. I am The Mortician. And today, I'm going to do something I haven't done in a really long time, and that's a gear review. Um, today I've got the Joyo Zombie Dance Amp. Um, so yeah, let's go over the specs and then let's play this fucking thing. Start off, you got clean and OD selectors. You know. <laughs> Pretty fucking cool. Then you have a Bluetooth th connection. Like you can actually connect your phone through Bluetooth to this thing, which is actually really cool in my opinion. Uh, and the selector even changes the LED here. That's Bluetooth off. That's Bluetooth on. I think that's really really cool. Then we have the gain, the tone, the volume, and obviously power on and off. If we flip this thing around. Probably not the best way to do it because it'll probably knock my pedals over. Flip this thing around. You have the Bluetooth antenna. You have the speaker out, which is a minimum of 8 ohms. Uh, the power uh, supply input, which is uh, 18 volts. You have headphones, so that's pretty cool if you're you know, living in a place where you can't really be too loud in an apartment or with family or something. And then a return and send effects loop, which I'm not going to use those in this video specifically because I don't really use a lot of those kinds of effects, you know, like reverb, delay, stuff like that. That's not really something I typically use when using real amps. So those will unfortunately go untested. So let's flip this thing over and just play a little bit of the clean. I don't really like playing clean. Not really my thing. I play a lot of metal, so, I mean, just look at me. So, <laughs> we'll play just a couple of simple chords and uh, just something that I can easily repeat so that way, you know, you can hear the real difference between things. And the guitar I'm using here is actually uh, Ibanez RG450DXB um, HSH setup. So, I'm going to tune up and then we'll get this done. Now that I'm in tune, I want to play something really simple on the uh, the neck, the, uh, neck position, middle position, and then I'm going to use the bridge. Um, just once again, something real simple, so that way you guys can you know compare directly. So let's go. That sounds all right. sounds a little too bright so let's uh, I think my favorite position for the clean thing on this uh, the clean thing super technical the clean position 
I think I like the the middle there. So let's let's fuck around with that. Oof. See, I really like that. Um, but uh, like I said, I'm not really someone who plays clean all the time. So let's switch on over to the OD here. <laughs> Sounds a little farty. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna stick to the bridge for this. That sounds a little farty. Obviously, you would never have the gain that low. I mean, unless you're going for something really unconventional. Let's turn it up to uh, I don't know what you would say that that is. Is that like eleven o'clock? <laughs> like a classic kind of doom tone. Sounds pretty good. What if we turn it up?
really like that. Sounds pretty damn good, I think. be able to properly get how loud it is. I don't really have one of those uh, devices that measure how loud something is, so. Guess I'll have to do for that. Now, I'm trying to bust out some pedals and see how far we can push this thing. Jump cut. See, that wasn't so bad. Um, so basically I just threw my, um, just throw my Joyo Vintage Overdrive in front of the zombie here to give it a little bit of a push. Uh, so let's click that on. Actually, I'm going to play a riff real quick and then we'll do it. <laughs> That's how it sounds without the overdrive. Click this on. <laughs>
That's a nasty. <laughs> that's a nasty little amp right there. Um, it's not even, the gain's not even that high either, and the tone's not that high either. And even here, it's like it's not exactly super high. Let's just turn that down. Like it still sounds really fucking nice. Just wow. Um, yeah. So let's have one more quick jump cut, and then I'm going to do, you know, what everyone says you shouldn't do, and just throw a regular distortion pedal right in front of this and see how that sounds. There we go. That wasn't so bad. <laughs> sounding a uh, very buzz uh distortion pedal uh, this is basically like a clone of the HM2 I believe which I think it's pretty obvious you know listening to it um, but overall I love this thing um, I've already written a couple of songs using it um, and honestly overall I paid like a hundred and twenty six dollars I think for this and I think that's a pretty good deal. I, I honestly really enjoy the sound of this amp. Um, it's it's pretty 
I mean, I wouldn't say it's pretty versatile. It's pretty much a one-trick pony, but the one thing it does, it does really, really well, in my opinion. Um, and I'm probably going to try and start using this for, like, my future Corpse Stench uh, guitar riffs and whatnot, because I really just enjoy the sound of this amp. It sounds so real compared to, like, you know, I've been using VSTs for, like, all of my music for a while now. Um, and I think this can finally break the chain of that. Um, I think it sounds really good. I think it's worth the money. 126 bucks. You can have this kicking around in case, I don't know, your, your amp head blow, you know, he eats shit or whatever. You can just have this as a backup to play while it's in the shop or something. Um, and if you're, you know, you're a young kid or at home, you're trying to learn guitar, you don't want to, you know, have one of those Line 6 amps. You just buy one of these and a pair of headphones and just go at it. And then when you're ready to, you know, uh, assault your parents with your music, you can hook it up to a cab. I think, honestly, this thing right here is a really, really good, uh, really good starter amp. And I think it's good enough to play uh, most genres. I really like to play more... Uh, I was playing a lot of trad riffs, but it's only because this is in C sharp, whereas the guitar I normally write riffs with is in B and lower. Um, so it's kind of a little weird that I play uh, trad riffs and stuff, but I really like using this thing for doom, actually. I use this, I love making doom riffs on this thing. You can really hit a St. Vitus tone really easy with this thing, which is really, really awesome, because I love that tone. Um, yeah, I really think... It's worth it. Like I said, good value for the money. And this will not be the last one I do, of these I do for a while. Um, I'm actually trying to look at getting some of uh, those get shitty guitar things you see on like Wish. Like those uh, little uh, toy radio looking amplifiers and stuff. And the ones, the headphone amplifiers and all that. I'm looking at trying to maybe buy a couple of those. So that way I have something to review for the channel. Because... I love, I love, you know, the metal for beginners and all that other stuff, but I kind of miss doing this as well. So, I hope this is a good first back into it. I know, uh, uh I know I'm, I had a blast making this. So, thank you guys for watching. Please tell me in the, uh, the comments below, uh, what your experience with this amp is. Do you love it? Do you hate it? Do you just feel indifferent? Um, are there ways you can, if the feel that you can improve the sound of this amp, what are your experiences? Mortician, peace out.